Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Girl I'm on here doing a quick video for you guys to show you some of the lipsticks that I purchased from MAC uh, recently. So, to start off, I know you guys are like, Girl, where have you been? I haven't seen you on here since like August. Yeah, I've been going through a storm right now. Um, to be honest with you guys, uh, the workload has increased at work and it's really stressful. So, you know, I haven't been feeling like turning on this camera. I know that I made some, a couple of vlogs recently, but I wasn't on camera. But yeah, your girl has been extremely tired and just, just didn't have the energy to get on to make a video. Today I'm feeling better. So I just want to show you guys some lipsticks that I purchased from uh, different collections. So the first lipstick I'm going to show you guys is called Damn Glamorous. This lipstick is really pretty, and I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, I really bought the lipstick because of the name, okay? So, I'm going to try that on for you, and again, it's called Damn Glamorous, so, see, Damn Glamorous, what did you go? You guys, here it is, this is what it looks like, I had some recording issues earlier, so, that's Damn Glamorous, you guys, and it's a nice red color, I don't know if you would call it Thank you, red or not. To me, it just looks red. I've heard different descriptions when referring to this lipstick. And to be honest with you guys, when I wear my matte lipsticks or any lipsticks, I love to use the Lip Lock Pencil by e.l.f. It's $3. It's clear. And I just pretty much, um, when I put it on, this is it right here. It's clear. I just wipe around my line of my mouth like right there and around here. And that way my lipsticks, they stay in place. They do not feather, okay? This is like, if you want a matte lipstick or a like bold lipstick color, this is your best friend right here. I mean, it's wonderful. And I want to say it's like $3. So let me try on Damn Glamorous for you guys. Very pretty. Red. And I've been rocking pretty much a neutral eye for the most part with a bold lip so that is damn glamorous and I'm going to swatch it on my hand so that you can see what it looks like on my hand and that is pretty much one swipe you guys so yeah it's, it's a really pretty shade really pretty so um next shade I'm going to try on for you guys is going to be Novelle Vogue that's what I wore today because I have like a, a blue eye shadow look going on because I'm wearing blue um yeah so I'm going to try that on for you so you can see what it looks like as well okay so I need to have so many lipsticks up here okay so this is Novell Vogue and this is a part of the matte lip collection I'm not sure if I made that announcement at the beginning of the video <laughs> so the first two are from the matte lip collection which are limited edition from MAC a lot of them are sold out right now actually so that's what Novell Vogue looks like. It's a nice pinky shade. It's a shade that you can wear to work. It's it's not bold. It's a nice soft pink nude shade, pinky nude shade. I guess you could refer to that um, as that. So let's try that on now so you guys can see what it looks like. At first I was like, I don't know if I want that shade. I don't know if it would go with my um, skin tone because I like lip liners, but then I don't. I like to just be able to apply my lipsticks without having to alter them or manipulate them to go with my skin tone. So that's it right here. So I'm available. This is what I wore to my little cousin's football game today. So I'm available. Very pretty shade. The next shade is going to be Fashion Revival. I hear a lot of people pronouncing this name different, but it's Fashion Revival. That's what it's called. It's like a Fashion Revival, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know or not, but a lot of people um, have revivals at church. So, if you're familiar with a revival, it's like, yeah, you know how to pronounce that name. Everybody may not be familiar with what a revival is, so it's like a celebration. Of <laughs> yep. Okay, so let's try this on right now. I really like this shade, you guys. A lot of people want to compare it to Rebel. It's not the same as Rebel. 
at all. No way. You can look at the two and tell. So here are the two lipsticks, you guys. Right off the bat, you can tell that they're not the same whatsoever. Okay? This one on the right is Rebel. That's Rebel. Right here. And this is uh, Fashion Revival. Again, they don't look nothing alike. I'll swatch them both. That's Rebel right here. And it's a satin. A satin finish. And um, Fashion Revival, of course, is a matte finish. So they're not the same. They're close, but they're not. Fashion Revival is actually lighter. I mean, it's just... Rebel leans more purple. So... This one leans more burgundy like I guess you could say. But yeah, they're just they're different. They're not the same. So if you thought that um the two were the same and that's why you didn't add it to your collection, it's not. So let's try this on. And I love this shade. I wore this to work yesterday. Very pigmented. Love this formula. Very pretty shade. A lot of people could wear this shade by itself. There's no need for a lip liner. No need for a lip liner unless you just want to stop the feathering. But you can get that lip liner like I showed y'all earlier by e.l.f. So that's it. And again, this is Fashion Revival right here. Very pretty shade, right? Very pretty. And I want to say it's sold out right now. I'm not sure if they're going to restock or not. But this collection has been out since probably August or September. I don't know. Maybe October. Shoot. Girl. My days have been blended. <laughs> okay? So, it came out. So, check Nordstrom's. Because I looked on the Mac site and I didn't see it in stock. I didn't see that or Living Legend in stock. So, I'm going to show you guys what Living Legend looks like. And I would be showing you guys what, um, what's the name of Shade? It's called <sighs> Styled in Sepia. I already have re renewed. I know those two are nowhere near the same. I mean, they're close, but they're not the same lipstick. I swatched both. They're not the exact same lipstick. And I'm like, I'm not really wearing the new lipstick that I bought. So I'm like, I don't need Style and Sepia. It's not one of those nudes that I reach for. It's too grayed out. I just don't like the way it looks, okay? So let's go with Living Legend. Beautiful shade. It's not as dark as I thought it was going to be. So if you want to know, how this compares to Talk That Talk, they're not the same, and I almost missed out on this lipstick because of that, thinking it was the same, but it's not. So, I'm going to put these two side by side so you guys can see them. Okay, this one, this one is Living Legend, okay, and that's Talk That Talk. As you can see, they're nowhere alike. See? Very different. I'll put them right up here against the white wall. You guys can see it. Anyway, it's not the same whatsoever. And I'm going to swipe, swipe, swatch. Um, talk that talk next to it. I mean, they're just, that's, <laughs> y'all, who is, who is telling everybody this is a dupe? Does that look like a dupe to y'all? Do it look like a dupe? No. I will build it up some more. I just want y'all to know, this is not a dupe, okay? <laughs> it's not. So, I will check Nordstrom's just to see if this lipstick is in stock. Living Legend because it is a pretty dark bamboo shade. Very pretty and appropriate for the fall. So let's get this swatched on right now because I don't want this video to be too long. Very pretty. Make sure you swallow your lips, y'all. Mine are a little dry. <laughs> so, make sure. And this is one of those loose sticks that you got to have a lip liner with. It definitely feathers. But look how pretty it is. Ooh, it is a beautiful color. When I went into the Mac store, it was so many ladies trying on these dark, vampy lips and everything. Young and old. And like, yeah, that's what's in right now. That is the fall trend. So, Living Legend is beautiful. I'm glad I was able to add this to my collection. It's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful shade. Dark bamboo shade. So I don't have it. I will look forward, you guys. Okay. Now on to the next. I'm gonna show you guys what photo looks like. So photo came out with the artificially wild collection. 
And I heard that it's permanent, but I don't know. I have to check the Mac site. I'm not sure if it's permanent or not. Let's try it on right quick. Okay. This is photo. It's a nice chocolate brown lipstick. I don't have any brown lipsticks like this. I'm like, I want to add it to my collection. I was debating whether I should purchase um, Salem from the Lime Crime Velveteen collection. But I just went ahead and went with MAC and got this brown shade. Because one, I wanted to make sure I actually liked it. You know, because to be honest with y'all, I, I haven't worn a brown lip since like the 90s. This is what I used to wear. I used to wear dark vampy lips in high school. <laughs> That's just, that was the trend. Okay, the Jordana brown lipsticks from the beauty supply store. Yeah, okay. So, let's get this baby tried on. And it's a satin finish. It's pretty. I love it. You do your gold eye, green eye, this goes on my even a new draw like regular like a um, cream eyeshadow and it'll go it's just it's pretty coffee color and to be honest with you if you don't feel like buying a lipstick you know of course you can use a lip liner like the Nika K lip liners like Chaco y'all it's brown it's so pretty some of these are, are like they come up with a matte finish see that and you can wear them as a lipstick. I put just a little bit of lip balm over it. But let me swatch photo for you guys so that you can see what it looks like. That's photo. And I want to say the Salem color might be that color. Like that, the color of that lip liner. So, I'm glad I got photo. Photo is pretty. It's really pretty. So, I'm glad I added that to my collection. So... Yeah, photo is nice. Just wish it was matte, but satin, I guess I'll make an exception. Satin is not my favorite um, formula for a MAC lipstick. But it does what it needs to do. It's not like it's an amplified finish or anything. Okay. Because, to be honest with you guys, I don't like matte nude shades like light like nude shade because it just don't look right to me on unless you put like a gloss over it or manipulate it with a liner i just don't like it if i have like a nude uh lipstick i think it's nice in a um luster form maybe amplify it just depends on the shade it really does so what i'm going to try on next is going to be kinky and I love this lipstick I'm happy that I purchased it and I hope they restock they just ran out this week because I don't know I kind of want to get a dupe I'm not a dupe but um uh, <laughs> buy another one y'all it's been a long night <laughs> I want to get another one so let me try that on so that's kinky swatched right there it is so pretty Kinky Boots. It's limited edition. It's really, really pretty. And let me see if I have anything to swatch. Okay, here's the really Riri A lot of people have been swatched. I'm dropping everything. Have um, compared it to Riri Woo. If you want to know, there it is. Similar, but not the same. Of course, you can tell off the bat that, um, what is this? Riri Woo is darker and it's more matte because it's a retro matte but this kinky lipstick is pretty let me try this on for you guys if I can speed this video up oh it's pretty <laughs> it just is <laughs> if they restock this y'all need to stock the page <laughs> make sure y'all get it it's, it's beautiful kinky boots y'all I'm glad they put it on the website because there was no way I was going to get it if it was just sold in Vegas it's pretty I do like it so let me go ahead and wipe this off the next lipstick I'm going to try on for you guys is going to be uh, Viva Glam Rihanna 2 
I had to go ahead and get it because I wanted all the lipsticks that Rihanna um, collaborated with MAC on because I like her. So I'm supporting her because she's supporting a great cause. So let's go ahead and try Viva Glam Rihanna 2, which is sold out on the MAC site. So that's why I'm going to like, yeah, I'm glad I got this from the store. But the sad part of it was when I went into the Mac store in Macy's, they didn't even have the lip glass. And I wanted that. So they didn't have it. So I may need to go ahead and purchase it on the Mac site while it's in stock because everyone knows that um, this campaign for Viva Glam 2, uh, Rihanna is coming to an end probably in February maybe. I don't know. Because Miley Cyrus is the new Viva Glam spokesperson right now. So it will start, I think, probably February. But let's get this chide on. Oh, uh, it's pretty. <laughs> this is a perfect this is the perfect color for the fall. However, I'm okay when it comes to falls. But to be honest with you guys, I wish she could have I wish the two Viva Glam lipsticks that she came out with would have been mattes because everything else she released with the exception of Who's That Chick from the um, her collection with MAC previously last year, um, they were, what I was going to say, matte or retro matte. But that's what it looks like, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it before I forget. And that's it right there. You can see it. Open. Let me swatch it right here. It's in an odd place. That's it. In case you wanted to compare it to Icon, which I'm not sure if Icon is in stock now, but if it's not, check Nordstrom. When something is not in stock on the Mac site, double check Nordstrom. Okay. So, this is Live Glam 2 Rihanna, and this is Icon. And I'm going to hold them up side by side so you guys can see what they look like. They're not the same shape. They're not at all, but they give you the same effect. Can you see that? Icon is lighter than uh, Viva Glam uh, Rihanna 2. See that? So it's definitely a difference, but it gives, off the, gives off the same vibe. And one thing that I've been doing, when I, when I wear Icon, I've been wearing Reckless Desire on top of it. Because it has like a purple, like, frosty-like look to it. I've been wearing Icon with that. So let me try um, Reckless Desire, which is this shade. I'll swatch it. It's really pretty. You see that nice purpley shade right there? Oh, it's pretty. Really pretty. Nice um, purple. Light purple and dark purple, I want to say. Reflex? I'm not sure. Well, let me go ahead and see what it try, see what it looks like on top of um, Viva Glam 2. So let's see. <laughs> that makes a difference. I still want to get that gloss though because it's so pretty. That uh, lip gloss Viva Glam 2, Rihanna. See that made a difference. It's really pretty. So I hope I'm not getting this on my sweater. But yeah. Really pretty shade, you guys. And they go well together. So yeah. Happy about that purchase. Let's get this wiped off, you guys. I'm sorry. That's just too many lipsticks to be trying on. <laughs> Three more. I know. Cray cray. Let's get this done. Girl, I ain't editing at all. Sorry, poo. <laughs> so, alright, let's try on this um, Salon Rouge, which is this color. I was I was unable to get um, what do you call it? Um, the Rocky Horror lipstick, which was Frankenfurther. I really want that lipstick. I really did, but it sold out. There was no way for me to get it. Hey. So I decided to get Salon Rouge, and this is what it looks like. And I'm going to swatch it on my little right hand. 
that is Salon Rouge. Another nice red, uh, brick red color, I guess you could say. Very pretty. That's what it looks like. Very pretty shade. A lot of people want to compare it to Study Kiss, so let's go ahead and get that compared so you guys can see because, I mean, there's no comparison whatsoever. Um, this is what Studded Kiss looks like right here. They're not the same at all. Studded Kiss is darker and more on the maybe browner side. So, that is Salon Rouge. Very, very pretty. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this off and try on the next lipstick. Which is going to be, uh, what is the name of this lipstick? Sparks of Romance. It's a red. And it's a beautiful shade, too. But, a lot of people were let down because it's not that metallic, not metallic, but that matte frost that everybody was looking for. So, I did watch it in the store prior to buying it. So, let's take a look at this and see what it looks like. Okay. Has flecks of glitter. Random flecks of glitter. It's pretty. It's a pretty matte red shade. All these lipsticks that I purchased from the Heirloom Collection are red. Not red, but matte. I didn't get the Amplified and I didn't get Rebel because I already have Rebel. So. And I want to say that the Amplified shade was, um, what's the name of that shade? Uh, I can't think of it, but it's a, it's a nice plummy shade. Hell, I might go back and get it. Who knows? <laughs> this is pretty. Love it, but it's not really frosty. You can see some specks of glitter, um, you know, randomly throughout the lipstick. So, I'll go ahead and swatch that as well. And this is Sparks of Romance. And this is again from the Holiday Collection. Right there. Nice pretty red shade. Yeah, I like it. Happy with it. Of course, it's not what everyone thought it was going to be, but it still is a beautiful shade to wear. Um, especially during the holidays. Okay. So, last lipstick, you guys. I'm going to hurry up. Okay. This is my favorite, really. I might need to get a bag up for it. I might have to get a backup for it. This is No Faux Pas. A beautiful pink shade right smack there. Do you see it? No Faux Pas. Very pretty shade. A lot of people want to compare it to Pleasure Bomb from the Rihanna collection. This may have been from the Holiday Collection. As you can see, you guys, they are totally different. This lipstick is darker than this lipstick over here. So, that's it. They don't look nothing alike. On, you can tell the difference. It's a slight difference, but hey, they different. I'm going to swatch the Pleasure Bomb next to it now. You, do you see it now? See, look, they are totally different. <laughs> totally different. Kind of almost in the same family, but as you can see, um... No faux pas is way lighter. Not a dupe at all. So, I'm going to try this on for you guys as well. This is the last lipstick I'm trying on. So. That's it. It's pretty. Camera's not doing any justice at all. And I'm messing with the lipstick. I don't know how I got it up here, but whatever. <laughs> That's it, you guys. That is the end. And if you wanted to know, if you have Embrace Me, because that's one of the bold lipstick colors that I recently bought, too, which is really pretty, too. So, let's swatch it right there in this mat. Embrace Me. Nothing like that whatsoever, okay? And then I have Happy Go Lucky, which is so pretty. It's an amplified color. It's not matte, but it's still beautiful. Oh, my God. So, 
that way you can see the difference so actually um happy go lucky and embrace me are kind of dupes except for a different formula so that concludes my haul for you guys i hope you enjoyed it and glad to be making another video for you guys and yeah thank you so much for watching and i just want to say thank you to all of my loyal subscribers i really appreciate it um I think I'm at like 368 or so. I'm not sure of the exact number. But I just want to say thank you for all the love and support. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> oh.